Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Obese to Fit with Parkinson's. My name is Ryan Leniger, and today's going to be ser uh, the fifth video of the series. And what I'm going to do today is fix our mailbox, and I've never done that before. So, a little background to the story is last fall, early fall, we had a storm, and it uh, some property. It was a lot of wind damage. And one of the things that got ruined was our mailbox. So I've never done anything like this before. So we'll go check it out. What I did as a temporary fix was I used zip ties, which looks, I can see it from here. It's really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and let's go check it out. And in addition to the mailbox coming off the uh, front of the mailbox also came off that flap that closes. So this is our mailbox. It looks uh, it's pretty beat up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the zip tie off and see what's underneath. I don't even remember. It's been so long since I looked at it. That zip, the zip tie just uh, came right off. So let's look underneath. And we got rotten wood, so looks like I can reuse those bolts that are there. And we had our we had our fence replaced last year, and I think I have a board for that. So I might just uh, cut that down, and um, I'll measure it, and uh, I'll get a new mailbox, and we'll go ahead and put it up. So I got the new mailbox, the old mailbox there, I'll just trash. And then that's the board that I had extra from our fence. And I got my tools, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those bolts off. All right, so I got my tools, it's a 9 16th wrench. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take these bolts off. Get this wood out of the way. Alright, now I'm going to go measure my piece of wood that I'm going to be using to replace this and I'll be right. So I just realized that the new mailbox is about four inches longer. Uh, it shouldn't make a difference. Uh, I'll just cut my the wood underneath, put it underneath the length of the um, mailbox. And I'll show you something here real quick. So what I have here is this dark piece here is the original piece that was on the mailbox. And you can see just how much longer it is than um, the new, uh, how much shorter the old mailbox was compared to the new one. So I'm just going to make a cut here. And then what I'll do is those holes have to be in the right spot in order for it to mount properly back on the post. And so I'll just have to drill a couple holes and then hopefully that'll be it, but we'll see. So as it turns out, I forgot to plug my drill in, so it's probably going to be a couple hours before we uh, can go ahead and proceed. But um, anyway, I'll stop right now, and um, once I get the drill charged, the drill charged, I'll go ahead and uh, resume uh, my uh, project. So, all right. So now I've got everything centered up. My drill's charged and I'm going to drill two holes and then I'm going to try to uh, put the bolts back on uh, while it's off the post just to make sure the holes match up and then I'll go to the post and uh, if the holes are matched up, I'll go to the post and go ahead and um, put the bolts on and the mailbox should be done. It shouldn't take but a few minutes. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, it started pouring out rain, so 
I uh, hope my drill's charged now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pre or drill these holes for the mailbox and see what happens. So now what I'm gonna do is put the bolt that I had in the mailbox here to lock it in place and then I'm going to drill my other hole. I got the spots in the in the board drilled out where the bolts need to go, so now I just need to cut uh, with my saw right here where I had marked earlier, and this is going to be the length of the mailbox. And um, so I'm going to get my saw, and I'll be right back. So now I have my holes pre-drilled in my board. I'm going to go ahead and drill two holes in the uh, bottom of the mailbox and then the, the bolts that I have here will go inside and come out here and here and that's what's going to fasten it to the post. So it'll just take a few minutes to do that. Hey guys, well, um, it's the next day. My drill finally charged. I had to get the mailbox up so I could get uh, set in to make sure that uh, we got our mail. So I did get it mounted. I'll show you that. Uh, one other little thing uh, that was brought to my attention was the mailbox was green and I really wasn't paying attention to that. So I went and bought some spray paint and I'll spray, spray paint that uh, after the mail runs. I don't want the mail lady to get uh, paint on her hands and have to work the rest of the day with paint on her hands. But yeah, I'll uh, show you how it turned out. Uh, I'll spray paint it here shortly. Uh, I'm gonna make it evenly coated. Uh, it'll be nice and black. I guess that's what our uh, neighborhood calls for. So. Like I said, I didn't realize it was uh, kind of like a dark hunter green, but um, yeah, here it is. So it came out pretty good. Um, like I said, I noticed the green now, but um, I'll paint that, no big deal. Uh, probably take about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll, um, the little flag thing in order to keep paint off that I'll probably wrap it with like foil or something to uh, keep it from getting painted black but um, yeah it came out good it's a little bigger than the other one uh, it'll make a few little adjustments on the mounts in the hole but inside here's where I got it mounted there's a bolt and there's a bolt back there but it'll work um, It'll last a long time, so I'm happy with it. Uh, uh, it's another project I can mark off the list. And yeah, I'm gonna probably mulch today and then weed. And uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day, I think mid 70s. So I'll definitely be outside today. This will probably conclude my series. So I hope you enjoyed it. It was just some different things uh, to stay moving keep kind of focused on things that I needed to get done um, and I just wanted to share them with you but anyway this is Ryan Leniger with Obese to Fit with Parkinson's and I appreciate you guys watching.